Welcome or welcome back. My name is Shari and today we're going to be doing a really chill practice completely on our backs. Doesn't that sound lovely? So make your way onto your back. Please make sure that your head is completely on your mat, not hanging off the edge. Knees are pointing up to the sky, feet flat on the ground, and we're just going to walk our heels in towards the booty. And then toes are pointing straight ahead. Let's bring our hands down alongside those hips, palms face down, and we're gonna go through some flowing bridges. So please try to keep your chin tucked and your gaze straight up to the sky. Can cause a little injury if you try to turn your head while you're in one of these. So on an inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips, and at the same time, you're just gonna flow your hands up and overhead. On an exhale, you're gonna lower one vertebra at a time and you're gonna bring those hands back down to the mat alongside your hips. All right, there we go. That's all we're gonna do for the next few rounds of breath. Inhale, press into the feet. Arms come up and over. Exhale, lower the hips and hands in tandem. Flow with your breath. Inhaling up. Exhaling to lower. You got it. A few more rounds here. Just opening up the shoulders, opening up the front of the body, and this back bend. more. One more. Just making sure our spine is nice and warmed up. And lower all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Beautiful. Give them a nice big squeeze here. And see if you can really flatten that low back out onto the mat. And we're going to come into a nice, easy supine twist. Arms come out to the sides and then allow both knees to gently fall over to your right. Now, if the knees don't make it to the ground, you can always tuck a block or a blanket or a pillow under the knees or between the knees if that's more comfortable. And then make sure your upper body is totally on the mat here. And you can look straight up ahead or maybe turn your head the opposite direction of those knees. Let's come into a deep twist on our backs. Deepen your breath. Relax the muscles of your face. Notice the quality of the breath here as the body slows down. Often the breath will naturally lengthen and stretch and slow down to match it. Very nice. On your next inhale, let's bring those knees back up to center. And give yourself a big squeeze here, hug those knees into the chest. And then whenever you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and take those knees over to the other side with those arms out into your T-shape. The upper body is melting down onto the ground. And maybe you turn your head the opposite direction of those knees. the body and find somewhere else to soften and release. Beautiful. One more breath here. On 
the inhale. Let's bring those knees back up to center. Go ahead, give them a big squeeze. And then with one hand on each knee, just gently separate those knees out to the sides. And then from here, let's roll the ankles a few times in both directions. And then very gently, you can pull down on those knees to get a really deep groin stretch here. You can flex through those ankles. This is one of my favorite poses. Try to tuck your chin here, making sure the back of your neck is really long. Beautiful. Inhale those knees back together. And exhale, give yourself a big squeeze. Maybe you lift head, neck, and shoulders if that feels good and natural. And then make your way right back down. All right. Now let's hang on to that right leg. We're going to either bring the sole of the left foot to the mat. And you can stay there to start and check it out. Or maybe you can extend that left leg long. Hands are going to come behind the right thigh, interlace the fingers. And then we'll start to work this right leg straight as we can and we're just going to point through the toes here to stretch the top of the foot and the shin relax your shoulders tuck your chin relax your tongue if you have that left leg long go ahead and flex through that ankle beautiful now we'll go ahead and flex through that right ankle as well and press up through that heel maybe draw back with those hands get a really deep hamstring stretch here deep breaths. My right leg's actually shaking a little bit. My hamstrings are crazy tight right now. If you've been on my channel for a little bit, you know that I have, I'm still with it. I'm still trampolining. I'm rebounding. And man, does it tighten up your hamstrings. But it's excellent cardio and it's really fun and I really enjoy it. Give it a whirl if you haven't. I'll link my trampoline in the description box. Beautiful one big breath here. Exhale, bend into the knee. Go ahead, hug that knee tight, tight, tight in towards your body. And gently release sole of the right foot down. Let's go ahead and bring that left knee in to start. And just hang on to that knee gently. And then maybe you extend that right leg straight, flexing through that ankle. Start to bring the hands behind that left thigh, extending that left leg straight. And then let's point through those left toes. Get a really big stretch in the front of the ankle and the shin. One more big inhale. Exhale, flex through the heel. Press through the heel, pulling that left knee and thigh in towards you. Big breaths here. One more big breath. Gorgeous. Bend into the knee. Hands come to the top of the shin. Interlace those fingers and hug that knee. Squeeze it tight into your chest. This will release your hip flexors. And release. One more pose, our hip opener and groin opener. Bend into both knees. And then you're just going to allow your knees to gently fall out to the sides as you bring the soles of your feet together in butterfly. If you've got really sensitive or tight hips, a yoga block just propped up underneath the thighs here will help take some of the pressure off. Otherwise, go ahead, bring your hands to your belly, tuck your chin, 
bring your mind's eye to those hips, thighs, and groin areas. Just allow them to soften and surrender as you breathe deeply. We bring stillness to the body. We focus on the breath. We give our mind space to slow down. We signal to our bodies that we are safe and that we're cared for. Signaling to our nervous system that it is time to rest. can be a very intense stretch so take your time making your way out of it go ahead reach down bring one hand to either thigh and then just help your knees up as you walk your feet out to the outer edges of your mat and allow your knees to fall in towards one another just take a moment here Beautiful. One more time. Let's hug those knees into the chest. Get on the squeeze. Lift head and shoulders up off the mat if possible. Just give yourself a nice big hug here. And either turn over to one side and press yourself up or rock yourself up to an easy seat. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's take a nice grounding breath together. Inhaling through your nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Gorgeous. Palms together at heart center. Thank yourself for being here today. I thank you for being here today. Just a gentle bow forward. Thinking those eyes open. Lovely. I hope that was enjoyable for you. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.